Lenovo's previous attempt at a Snapdragon powered PC was the Mix 630, and that was really more of a detachable a tablet with a keyboard uh, attached to it. Now this, the Yoga C630, the letter C in its name stands for a convertible, and as you can see, it's got the 360 degree hinges to help it go from modes like tablet or tent or laptop. Really, again, feeling more like a traditional laptop, and that's key here because the Snapdragon 850 is designed to support PC-like experiences despite being an ARM-based system. So what you're gonna get out of the box is Windows 10 S on this PC, but you can upgrade it for free to a more familiar Windows environment. So on this, you can run 32-bit apps, 64-bit apps, thanks to the new compatibility announced that built this year, uh, as long as more and more developers keep recompiling their apps for the system. So you really get something that feels familiar, more like a traditional PC. And in addition to that, the 850 is supposed to provide 30% better performance, so 30% faster than the 835 devices that it launched late last year or early this year, including the Asus Novago. So as you can see on this C630 here, it's running the desktop environment of Windows 10, probably Home Edition, we'll take a look later to find out. Um, but out of the box, these Windows on Snapdragon devices all come with the Windows 10 S mode, and you'll have to upgrade it yourself to the full desktop environment. It is for free though, that's Microsoft's been doing that for a while now and says it'll be indefinitely available as a free upgrade. So we're gonna take a look here at the processor so that we can verify a little bit of sleuthing here that it is a, indeed a Snapdragon 850 powered device and it is right here, Snapdragon 850 uh, ARM-based 64-bit operating system. Again, another thing that was announced earlier was that Windows and Snapdragon will be running full 64-bit OSs and apps. So let's give it a test, right? Let's open a whole bunch of apps. Okay, maps. Let's also open spreadsheets and also PowerPoint. And what else? Give me suggestions, people. Oh no, you can't. Camera. Let's see how everything launches and loads. All right. X yes. Allow everything. We look good. So far, so good. So the A50 appears to hold up under my admittedly limited stress test. Um, and we obviously have to get it in to review before we can say more definitively if it will hold up under those taxing tasks, but hey, the A50 does seem to live up to its promise of better performance. Uh, on top of everything, I also really like how the Yoga C630 looks. I mean, it's an all aluminum uh, design here with some subtle curves around the back and it's got stacked hinges here to make it feel more flush and easier to hold when you open it up in tablet mode. It's got sl a slight uh, lip that overextends here and makes it just slightly easier to grasp. And as I've come to expect from Lenovo laptops, there's a comfortable keyboard here, although I'd like a bit more travel, but uh, nothing to complain about here because this is one of the first comfy full keyboards on a Windows on Snapdragon device so far. All of that will cost you $600 roundabout with the C630, but remember you have to account for the price of your SIM card if you want that Gigabit LTE connection as well. It'll be available in around November at retailers like Best Buy and certain carriers. We don't know all the details just yet, so stay tuned to Engadget.com for the full information as well as all of the news.